Oh, hello there, viewers. It, it's, it's the fake crystal set maker here again with part three of my sort of memoirs of my V, as uh, I'd say if I was French. I think I talk about the sort of important people what I met over the years and tales about the old leading dealer. You know, that bloke with a red face. Oh, what a disgrace he is, trying to rig old auctions and that. I was up at auction at bloody, bloody summer biz at uh, Chester. And he came out ranting and raving and swearing. What right? What right have you got to be at this auction? What right? What right? God blimey. Me and my wife, she didn't know what to look, where to look. Effing and bleeding blinding he was. Terrible language. Oh, I said to him, I've got every right to be here. I'm a dealer like what you are. You're nothing like me. You're nothing like me. I'm the top of the tree. Yeah, and it reminds me of that time those two gay blokes from Rochester. I've got nothing against them. Nothing against the gay community, as long as they got nothing against me. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, and uh, they bought the big collection. Didn't offer it to the leading dealer. He was bleeding furious. Gets on his, gets his old pen and paper out. Writes to the Antiques Trade Gazette. Isn't it disgraceful? Disgraceful! All these uh, dealer chappies with these brand new Volvos going up and down the motorways. Do they pay any tax? Do they? Do they? penny tax yeah you see and uh, he was not very he was not happy was he viewers oh dear oh dear nothing to do with him of course well, people don't have to sell to him do they mind his own bleeding business cheeky old sod yeah and I met that bleeding Beethoven Oxhead man he called himself on the internet blimey God, he came up to my store wearing this big black coat and I thought it's a bleeding vicar and I thought no it's not it's a rabbi I know the type I know what they look like and I thought, hello, hello, I thought to myself, I said to my mate next door on the stool, hello, he, yeah, he's wearing that big, big black coat like that old George Smiley, he's one of those bleeding spies. And I said to my mate, you know, he's, he's one of them, he said, well, he could be a shepherd. I said, well, what, a shepherd spy? Oh, God. And I met that bleeding terrier once, you know. Yeah, sold him some old crap old record cabinet on the internet. And uh, he said, I'll meet you at Gloucester Docks. I thought, oh, that's no trouble. I'm going to Gloucester Docks, see old Gainey, and see what he's got. Blimey. So, uh, yeah, who has drove up there? God, what a distance. Through the bleeding sticks. You know, I like the whole smoke myself. You know, during the war, me and my brother used to knock off. Uh, anyway, mustn't talk about that. We used to do this old market around the back of Oxford Street. Yeah, that was how long. That was in the 60s, that was. During the war. Yeah, some, something like that, anyway. Anyway, I've got a bleeding Gloucester docks, bought some beautiful radio parts there, knock them off to the old museum in Dulwich. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> better not mention that either, don't I, viewers? You know what goes on there? Old Smithy told me. God, blimey. Oh, God, I'm the leading dealer. He's on about that bloke all the time. Yeah, and those crooks in the gramophone society, yeah, staging their rigged auction. Oh, I'll be going, though. <laughs> <laughs> so with the EMG bloke by the seam of things, they're only getting him to do a lecture so they can get him in the all so he can bid on stuff. Oh God, what a bleeding stitch up all the bleeding time, the ring, eh? Dear, oh dear. Anyway, I was at Gloucester Docks, I met this bloke, he said, what are this terrier bloke? And I thought, blimey, look at this rubbish, he said, I'm not paying that money. I said, well, there's nothing wrong with this mint condition, that is. He said, mint, he's got, like, the hinges are broken. And there's no lock. I said, well, so what? It's mint. Anyway, you know, I, I bought the thing for 400 quid, and I sold it to him on the internet for 300 quid, so a bloody good profit in it for me. And, uh, yeah, oh, hang on, I think I got that wrong way around. Oh, well, keep them peeled, viewers.